Hello, going kids. I hope you all are doing fine. We are going through chapter colonialism and urban chains. That is from your history book. In this chapter, we have learnt about the presidencies of Calcutta, Mumbai, and Madras. We have also talked about the deurbanization, about uh, the emergence of hill stations and plant trees. Today, we will talk about a case study on Delhi. My dear lovely Goenkins, you know, the city of Delhi is traditionally called the land of seven cities. It was rebuilt as the capital of India about seven times by various empires since 1450 BCE. New Delhi, the capital of British India, was the last addition to the formerly built cities of Delhi. Designed as the stay of monuments, the vital underlying concept of design was to create a grand monumental stay space uh, which would inspire if among the conquered colonial citizens and be symbolic of the impact socio cultural, architectural, and political superiority and domination of the British Empire. Okay, the new capital meant to be the imperial capital of the subcontinent ironically took uh, 20 years to finish and was able to play that role for a mere 16 years designed by edwin and herbert baker british new delhi is now a small but significant part of the greater metropolis of new delhi which is the capital of modern india the sub is now popularly called Lithian's Delhi. Lithian's Delhi borders along the southern fringe of Shahjahanabad, the oldest city of Delhi, okay, and it lies to the west of Yamuna River. Dear Goenkins, the notable features of the city are Rajpat, the Rashtrapati Bhavan, India Gate, the India Gate, you know, was built uh, to immortalize the 85,000 soldiers who died in World War II. The diagonal axis links cannot place. It is the basically commercial center, okay? So the Parliament House, uh, you know, Sir Herbert Baker designed the two secretaries. Now, my dear lovely Goenkins, after this case study, can you tell me how did Delhi emerge as the imperial capital of the subcontinent? And whom did the India Gate immortalize? Can you name some more such memorials found in other cities of India? You can write the answers in your history notebooks. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful time.